Tanzania, Zambia, and Zimbabwe, and all senior government officials here present, Mr. T.M. Hanstead, Vice Chairman of the Chandler Foundation, co-sponsors of this conference, Ms. Priti Sinha, moderator, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. Why invest in Malawi? Malawi's agriculture. I'll tell you why. Because Malawi has 5.3 million hectares of arable land, representing 45% of its total land area. Because Malawi has abundant water resources, including Lake Malawi, Africa's third largest freshwater lake, and several major river systems. Because Malawi has access to a market of over 100 million people in the Sadek and Komesa region. Because Malawi has visionary, stable, democratic, political leadership and will, creating an enabling environment for public and private funding and investments in an open economy. Because Malawi has developed a one-stop service center for investment and trade promotion through Malawi Investment and Trade Center, MITC. Because Malawi has a large, highly educated, skilled, hardworking, trainable workforce. Because Malawi is a gold mine of agricultural experience, flooded with untapped specific projects and economic opportunities waiting to be explored. Because Malawi offers competitive investors tax and non-tax incentive packages. Because Malawi is easy to access with daily flights and modern ICT and telecommunication infrastructure. Because Malawi has resilient economic growth, averaging 4% per annum for the past five years. And because Malawi is stable and peaceful, a perfect environment for business growth. So it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this second edition of the Malawi Partners Conference to discuss the future of food production in Malawi. And I want to thank the Chandler Foundation for co-sponsoring this event under the theme, Securing Our Future, Enhancing Investment in Agriculture for Sustainable Food Security. In a special way, I'd like to recognize the presence of my dear brother here, His Excellency Dr. Felipe Jacinto Nussi, President of the Republic of Mozambique, who has shown solidarity with our vision from day one. My dear brother, your presence here speaks volumes about warm relations that exist amongst the Sadiq political leadership. Thank you for coming. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Malawi's journey toward transformation is guided by the Malawi 2063 vision, which is our long-term national development plan. This vision aims to ele elevate Malawi to an upper middle income economy by 2063. The vision aligns very well with well-meaning regional, continental, and global instruments, including the SADC Regional Indicative Strategic Development Plan, Agenda 2063 of the African Union, and the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, of the United Nations. Central to the Malawi 2063 vision is Malawi's commitment to enhancing agricultural productivity and commercialization, which is an essential pillar for our nation's future prosperity. In the midst of uh, catastrophic climate and health-related shocks, my government continues to lay a solid foundation for Malawi's prosperity. Those of you who may have visited Malawi recently will attest to the fact that there is a lot of infrastructure development going on in the country. Ongoing road rehabilitation and construction projects cannot escape your eyes. Equally, rail infrastructure rehabilitation is receiving the necessary attention. 
I'm pleased to report that some of the projects on infrastructure development being implemented are funded by resources that were committed during the first edition of Malai Partners Conference. For instance, I recently presided over the groundbreaking ceremony of one of the biggest industrial parks in Malawi. Resources for this investment were committed at last year's Malawi Partners Conference by Friction Bank. This facility is close to our major airport, the Kamuzu International Airport, and Kanengo Railway Line, which has access to the sea through Nakala and Beira ports in Mozambique. Other commitments from last year's conference that have materialized include the World Bank Finance Regional Climate Resilience Program, IFAD funded Sustainable Agricultural Productivity Program, and the Building Education Foundation project that Global Partnership for Education is financing. Malawi is not only a land of opportunities, but also a nation ready to meet the global demand for high quality products. We have a web of rivers and lakes, an arable land that is fit for purpose and ready to be spurred into high value agricultural production zones. Our climat climatic conditions are best suited for most of the agricultural production processes. I would therefore like to invite you, participants, from the private sector to come and invest in Malawi. Supported by the financial institutions here present where necessary. I'd like to similarly invite development partners to support my country in high value agricultural product, production through project funding. Our offerings, which include soya beans, macadamia nuts, ground nuts, rice, coffee, tea, are in high demand both regionally and internationally. We are therefore eager to explore these opportunities further, especially in production, agro-processing, and value addition to boost investment in our agricultural sector. My government is committed to laying a strong foundation for industrialization through agriculture, tourism, and mining. We are creating an enabling environment for investment in these and other areas by refining our legal frameworks, enhancing incentives, and establishing critical infrastructure. Recently, we signed three mining development agreements and established a minerals and mining authority. Malawi is also establishing mega farms and supporting commercialization through the agricultural com uh, commercialization ACCOM project. We have also introduced uh, a special electricity tariff for the agricultural sector to ensure affordable crop processing and irrigation. Our commitment extends to providing technical assistance, extension services, and a robust regulatory framework to incentivize investment. Our mission at this year's conference is clear, to forge new partnerships and explore innovative strategies that will enhance investment in agriculture. I'm thus confident that this conference will provide a vital platform for identifying and capitalizing on new opportunities in agro-processing and value addition that highlight Malawi's rich potential. We have a variety of investment areas that await you to explore in the agriculture sector. Key amongst these are investment opportunities in agricultural technologies, including seed multiplication, high yielding seed varieties, precision agriculture, mechanization, value addition to agricultural produce, and the establishment of a fertilizer plant. We undertake to collaborate with you, dear investors, so that the multiplier effect on the economy will be hugely impactful. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to give you a picture of food security situation in Mozambique, please allow me 
to welcome our dear brother and friend, His Excellency Dr. Felipe Nusi of Mozambique. Dr. Chokweral, once again let me <clears throat> try to deliver in English, but you will understand that my English is coming from Mozambique. It's <laughs> not the same. <laughs> Yes, Your Excellency Dr. Lazarus Makachakwera, President of the Republic of Malawi, dear brother, distinguished participants and ladies and gentlemen. A few weeks I was in Malawi for trade fair and I visited. I want to use this opportunity to confirm what President Chakwera is saying here. It's not the stories. You can see that people are doing small agriculture, but with the investments it can be done more than what they're doing. But first you started with one question before my, my, my small speech. Why The question was, why investing in Malawi? And you said because of because of ABC, because of... Let me add one thing also. Why? Because from Malawi you can export to overseas through Nakala port. This is the deepest port in Mozambique. Right. And also you have a port, Beira port, it's near, connected by railway line. And this is easy, it's, it means that you can 24 hours exporting. That's right. Uh, Mr. President, first of all, I, I salute the, uh, and congratulate you, my dear brother, for the initiative to convene this event at the sidelines of uh, the session of the United Nations General Assembly, which is held under the terms incentivizing investment in agriculture for sustainable development. I also express our gratitude to your excellence for the gracious invitation extended to us to partake this conference. Excellencies, agriculture continue to play a critical role in the lives of millions of people in, in the world, particularly in Africa, as a primary source of food and income. In Mozambique, agriculture is a top nation priority as it is the basis for development and the, a source of income, particularly in rural areas where the majority of our people live. Foul projections for the global population growth indicate that by 2050, the world will have more than 9 billion inhabitants who will need food for the survival. In this context, in Mozambique, we launched in 2017 the agriculture program called Sustenta. Sustenta and they clearly defined the financing structure where the state foods 50% and the bank the remaining 50. The program is set as a priorities evolution criteria to ensure financial autonomy and the sustainability training of extension service experts a legal and a regulatory framework of, as well as investment framework. As a result of the implementation of the program, we note a paradigm shift in the way agriculture and the productivity process are viewed. There has been an increase in production and productivity, agribusiness and uh, marketing those closing the productivity cycle and the value chain. Agriculture activities become profitable and attractive to many young people. As the President said, we can do everything on our countries. We have rivers, 
But we need infrastructure for retention of the water to make sure that we can uh, 24 hours, uh, seven days, or uh, 12, 12 months. Because you can be uh, rice in Mozambique also, maize, education, and everything, you can do it. We focus on inclusion to make the program sustained and more participatory, particularly of women, and uh, is unavoidable who is a stakeholder of agriculture development for food security, sustainable management of natural resources, and uh, promoting the right for self and uh, tenor. Program sustainable results are quite encouraging. Rural banking through the projects, one district, one bank, because you know, now in Mozambique we are trying to bring services, financial services to the rural area. And also another result is gender mainstreaming in agriculture increase of income for recipient households of the program, reinvigoration of volu chains, accountability of local com commodities for the conservation of the environment. We sought to in increasingly improve the program implementation modalities to overcome financing, training, and rural integrated development challenges. Once again, we commend this initiative, Mr. President, as in the strive for zero anger, nobody should be left out. As I'm saying one again, congratulations, my dear brother, for this event. And I'm ready for some questions to try together to share discussions and also to give you more information about. But I'm here mainly to confirm what President Chakwera said. And please, I am coming from Mozambique Ports and Railway, and always we said, if the first is coming, we said, first come, first go. I believe that you will be the first in Malawi to make sure that you are going quicker, because if you're delaying, please, now pressure to in, for investment on Africa will strong. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Muito obrigado.